Hello and welcome back to Disco Elysium. Uh, last time we had to bail from our conversation with uh, with Acel because our morale went down pretty drastically. So now with a lot more healing items, we can make our way back to the uh, uh, to the tent on the ice and continue that conversation and also step inside so we can. Uh, one second, let's go into. Come on, uh, wrong button. Now we're sprinting. There we go. Um, yeah, so we can go into the tent as well and uh, get into that conversation. So now let's go to the map and go to... Oh, we can teleport to the church. Well, that makes it easier. Okay. And let's... Hey. I said caps. Come on. Sprint. There we go. Uh, okay, uh, let's go over the ice, talk to Acel again, see if there's any more uh, conversations to be had with her. And then we can talk to the others. Hello again. Uh, what are you doing out here in the cold? Recording, I guess. And what is it you're recording exactly? I think I'm recording cracks in the ice. But there's no way to tell. Not without headphones. I think I just recorded your footsteps too. Not sure how that will sound. Wait, what happened to the headphones? My boyfriend sold them. Oh, what for? I don't know, man. Things. Just stuff you need for life. Everything checks out, sire. Mm -hmm. And what are these recordings for? The cracks, the footsteps? The musicians in the Palisseum used them for making music. They looped the stuff, cutting the tapes together. They make music out of cracks in the ice and keys jangling. Crazy sounds like that. It's hard to explain. We'll just gonna, we're just gonna Anyway, on. I thought I'd make some too. It's supposed to be, like, a music place anyway. She rubs her shoulders and looks around. I don't really know what I'm doing. They use synthesizers too. I don't have a synthesizer. She looks at the recording device. The thing she thought would fill her hours with joy and escape. It's turning out to be an empty fantasy. She feels childish. Very useless all of a sudden. Take this, you're cold. The lieutenant begins to take off his jacket. No man, fuck that, I'm cold. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry about the fuck. It's okay. The lieutenant backs up. He throws you a glance. Uh, now this is where a hat would come in handy. Give her your hat. Here, you need this more than I do. Uh, you said it's supposed to be a music place. What is? Um, I'm not going to give her my hat because I'm an, uh, I'm an asshole. And I also want to keep all the Falm gear I can get. Uh, <clears throat> now this is where a hat would come in handy. Yeah, maybe you were right about the hat. But you're not getting mine. Uh, you said it's supposed to be, uh, to be a music place. What is? That? The boys think it could be a place, like the Palisseum or something. Stupid. It's really not going to be a Palisseum, that's for sure. She nods towards the church. Uh, the boys? Yeah. Andre and the guys. They're inside. In the tent. And why is that? Uh, why are you freezing out here while the boys are inside? They got too much stuff crammed in there. No room. Stuff like what? Music stuff, mostly. Like this tape recorder, but bigger. And there's piles of it. Uh, why not just leave some of it outside so you don't have to freeze? That stuff is more expensive than I am. More expensive than any of us, really. Doesn't matter. I can take the cold. I had some other questions. Go ahead. Um, tell me more about this music place you've been planning in the church. It's supposed to become, like, a club. For anodic dance music. Like that new style of synthesizer stuff they play at the Palisseum. Except that, yeah. She looks at the old wooden church up on the poles. As a mean wind uh, comes bellowing in, the six-story structure lets out a doleful shriek. The floorboards are twisting, and the shooting beams are slowly cracking, like bones. Far east of the Golden Delta, beyond the industrial port, there is a black patch of unlit coast with the smallest creatures on the ice. There will never be a club for anodic music here. Not in a million years. What is anodic dance music? You know, anodic, cathodic, music that's made with electronic instruments. Electronic instruments? Like what? Synthesizers and tape consoles. Microcomputers too. Anything that uses electricity, but isn't guitars. Also found sounds, stuff like that. You see clear, beautiful, violent flashes of light 
light cutting through a smoke-filled darkness. That is what the future will look like, if it ever comes. Uh, so you want to turn the church into a club? I know. It's not my idea. Andre and the boys found the place. It was supposed to be deserted, but now they can't even take it. Hey, you two are cops. No, we are the law. Okay, well... Maybe you could talk to Andre and the guys. Because there are some strange things going on in that church. If you're police, you should look into it, right? I'll talk to them. They're inside that thing there. Would be cool if you did. Was there something else? Uh, did you put the padlock on the church door? No. No? Not really, no. Uh, so this isn't yours. Show her the sticker on your ledger. It's Noid's. Wait, is this Noid a friend of yours? Uh, why did this Noid person put a padlock on the church door? Is this Noid a friend of yours? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Why did this Noid person put a padlock on the church door? To keep more weirdos from getting in. Fucking Martinez. I'm sorry. It's got the worst weirdos. If you get around to it, ask Andre about them. He'll tell you. Should you? Weirdos. Sounds bad somehow. Enough about the church then. I had another question. Go ahead. Uh, you seem surprisingly comfortable with being questioned. Why is that? Well, it's just questioning, right? You're just questioning me. It's what cops do. Uh, have you been questioned before? Once or twice, yeah. I'm sorry I haven't had the Revachol experience they get east of the river. What's east of the river? Rich people. Rich people are east of the river. Look awestruck. Who are these rich people? They sound wonderful. I'd like to be one too. Sneer, I bet they're really rich. They must be very special people to be so rich. Lean in and whisper, let me guess, these rich people are not from around here. Uh, strange, the existence of rich people does not stir any emotion in me. Oh, okay, good to know. Uh, do we want some money? We've gone pretty hard on the fascism recently, I think. Yeah, I think we could do with a little more ultra-liberalism in our life. Uh, who are these rich people? Good luck crossing that river on your police salary, then. Uh, so what trouble you've gotten into with the police? The usual. I had a shitty run as a teenager. What's the usual? You know, drinking, getting into fights. The ugly stuff that happens when you move out your parents' place at 13. In Forberg. Wait, what is in Forberg? Is this a rhetorical question? No, I literally can't remember even the most basic terms sometimes. Faubourg, not in Faubourg, is a massive banlieue south of Jamrock Quarter. It is the largest ghetto in Revachol, possibly the world. Uh, I know what Jamrock is, but let's say I didn't, or turn to the girl. And why did you have to move out when you were so young? Let's go with the first one. I mean, in, at this point, we've learned about Jamrock, but let's question it anyways to seem, um, you know, like we're not paying attention. We are Jamrock. Sort of. Martinez is called North Jamrock sometimes. Jamrock is also a ghetto, only smaller than Faubourg. And why did you have to move out when you were so young? My dad was a drunk. Plus, I guess, I just wanted to drink too, you know, get my party on. Okay, uh, I get that. I'm a major party animal myself. Major. Uh, drinking, partying and disco music are bad for you. You should take me as a as a warning example, I had another question. Uh, I get that. I'm a major party animal myself. Major. All right. She smiles a little without meaning to. Empathy. Uh, the tape recorder lies on the ice like a discarded toy. Pick it up. Uh, we, we don't need to empathize. Because we're assholes. Okay, let's go into the tent. Take a look the at that. The tent is just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men are listening to some new form of music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. Okay. It's safe to assume this is their leader, or at least he thinks he is. Let's squeeze in. Sorry, we barely have room for one. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. I'm actually not, he thinks. I just dislike delinquents. Okay. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. He gestures for you to squeeze in. Okay, there we are. 
Smells like sweat and laundry detergent, plus a trace of ether. Over there, a pile of nasal sprays, brand name Nosefed Ultra. A speaker, the big kind they use for live music. Canisters filled with what appears to be water, the label says distilled. Okay, three people. Do we want to talk to Andre first or do we talk to the others? Um, let's talk to Andre first and then you go see to the others. A youngish man bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're gonna be an asshole and not shake it. This is my posse, Noid. He pauses with his hand still hanging in the air. The young man with earrings looks at you suspiciously. A an egghead. Egg! The tape player high above his head continues to blast what uh, is probably a nodic music. Together with a little burger who's out there right now doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. Wait, how many music venues have you organized? We have many in a pipeline, officer. Why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Honestly, for talent. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate part. Place is a shithole. I, I apologize for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realize this is not how you speak to a police officer. I he has authority issues. Uh, there's no need. The place is pretty bad. Next time, watch yourself. Uh, was there something you wanted? Uh, your friend Acel said there was a problem with the church. Next time, watch yourself. I will, lawman. The young man nods and drops a, uh, drops a drill chunk into a plastic container. Which brings me to the problem of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of Narcomania on the coast. An attempt to pander to your perceived conservative sensibilities. No person his age would ever use a word like narcomania with a straight face. Don't fall for it. Thanks, Volition. Enough histrionics. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the church. And I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dopeheads and burnouts if left unattended. Dopeheads! Burnouts! He angrily spits on a screw, then starts cleaning it. Well, I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that in Revershol. Okay. Strike that! The world! The world. I, I love Egghead. He's one and of my favorites. And yet, because the dopeheads and burnouts hold up in there were the worst kind. Okay, he looks back a little, watching you with a steady, serious gaze. Letting you imagine just how bad those dopeheads and burnouts really are. I don't know, I'm a bit of a dopehead myself. Are they foreigners? I bet they're foreigners. I won't stand for narcomaniacs of any kind. No narcomaniacs on my watch. Shake your head gravely. I feel like you may be laying this on a bit thick. What's really so bad about those dopeheads and burnouts? <sighs> Sorry. Could be. We don't know for sure. But we do know they are spooky. What exactly do you mean by spooky? Spookiness is not a matter for police investigation. What exactly do you mean by spooky? I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. All I can say is, their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community center and a place of spiritual refuge. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. Thank you, Egghead. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. Okay, I'll look into it. Tell me more. I'll make up my mind later. I have, uh, I have questions for now. Um, I have questions for you first, not now. Uh, the police have more important things to do right now, kid. Uh, I'll look into it. All right, man. He claps his hand enthusiastically. Andre's obviously very happy you took him seriously. The whole tent is. The boys exchange giddy looks. A cell told me Noid put the padlock on the door. Why? Uh, who exactly are these people inside the church? I think we can go, we can go down that list uh, one by one. So let's start at the, uh, at the top. Noid put the padlock on the door. Why? Oh, so you met her? 
Good, good. He's not as glad as he would like you to think. There's concern in his voice. I did ask Noy to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. It's a temporary fix, just something to contain the situation. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. I need the key. How long have those people been locked in there? Uh, I need the key. Of course! Noid, give the officer the key. Alright. Uh, the speed freak dips into his belt pack and produces a, a, a yellow key. He then makes a sudden cool infused move, tossing it in your general direction. Reaction speed, medium 10. Be the cool cop. Catch the key as it flies towards you. You sense the trajectory of the little piece of metal and plastic. The object makes a small ringing sound as it approaches. Just the tiniest chime to your left. Let's catch it. ka -ching. The key hits your palm. The speed freaks nod to you approvingly. Let's bask in the glory. The young man with ribcage-shaped suspenders looks at you, standing there, with a goofy grin on your face. The word august, used as an adjective, that's how cool it feels to be old and cool in the eyes of the young. Let's face it, you're near death, yet bathed in the golden rays of stately grandeur. Like a late summer's day. Like a daddy-o. Like a tequila sunset. No, none of this tequila sunset business. It's gotten me to death's door. Uh, there has to be more in this world. Damn right I'm tequila sunset. Arriva. Of course you are. It's too late to be a tequila sunrise now. There will be no sunrise. Not for you. How long have those people been locked in there? Not long. Like a week, maybe? How can you be sure they haven't starved to death? Uh, this is cool. Taking initiative like this is proper citizen behavior and I endorse it. Yeah, let's just, let's just say it's cool. Thank you. We just thought it was the right thing to do. Right, other questions? Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do it. Who exactly are these people inside the church? Truth is, I don't really know. None of us do. I don't even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. You haven't even seen them and you want the police involved? Uh, better safe than sorry. Anything more you can tell me? Uh, better safe than sorry. Yes. There's also the machinery. This machinery is of the deeply mystical variety. When I first scouted the place, back in February, it was abandoned. Empty. Took some time getting the crew together. So about two weeks ago, we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly, there are all these strange machines lying around in there. One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires into water. Never seen anything like it. Andre, tell him about the feeling. Oh, and it felt like there was something in there with us, watching us from the dark. No, the other one. Um, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are, Egg. Felt like silence. Awful silence. But you haven't physically seen anyone. Not exactly. We've just seen someone who we think is a woman go in and out of the church. A couple of times. And we felt someone, or something, <clears throat> eyeing us inside. But that's kinda it. Okay, so, uh, what was that about something watching you? Like, you aren't alone, you know? Definitely. It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. Non-human means a predator. Yeah, half light Definitely. Everything that isn't human is definitely a predator. It was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling, like some kind of crab man. A crab man? Yeah, you know, the way it was climbing up and around the ceiling, like a crab. Was Spider-Man copyrighted? It was stalking a cell. Exhibiting ambush behavior. Are you sure there was a crab man? Ambush behavior. Mm -hmm. Crab man. Let's go with the second one. Crab man! Yeah. Yeah, totally. I mean, I didn't personally see it. A cell was alone that time. But I believe her. If she comes out running and says there's a crab in there, there's a crab in there. You should ask her about it, but be nice. Don't tell her you don't believe in a crab. Uh, can you tell me more about this machinery? You should talk to Noid about that. I just got a distinct burnout and dopehead sign from them. Probably jacked up to some snuff station too. Probably very likely. With a small surge of PEA, alertness fills you. 
as if to say, this is a dark corner. Look behind it. Uh, jacked up to some snuff station. It means like one of those rich boy private radio stations where you can listen to people getting killed on then jerk off to it. Sick shit. Not that we would know anything about that. Noid just likes to relay stuff. We're getting derailed here. In short, you can tell to Noid about the machines. He'll tell you more. So how can you be sure there's burnouts and dopeheads? Uh, they are t uh, they are burnouts and dopeheads if you haven't even seen them. Yeah, let's ask. Let's well, ask. Well, honestly, I can't, but I am. Why not? Let's go with that. Yeah, yeah, that that makes sense. Thank you, rhetoric. I don't see a single thing wrong with that argument. I'm seventy percent sure they're substance users. Don't let the technology fool you. He makes little quotation marks with his fingers when he says technology. Alright, let's talk about something else. Sure. What? Uh, you mentioned some kind of Ecclesiastes own the church. Who are these Ecclesiastes? Oh yeah, that's a meteor and name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. Before we go on, what do you mean by meteoran? You know, of meteo. Concerning meteo. Meteo? Meteo. A country. On Muindi. On the Mwindi Isola. Uh, oh, the founding party. I do know them, but can you refresh my memory? Um, and what is the founding party? Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up, you know. I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. And? And they have roots in ancient mass society. And they're the custodians of the Periconesian church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They, like made the innocentic system, no? It doesn't sound like they would appreciate a dance club in their church. They sound like exactly the kind of, uh, the kind of who, the kind of who would want loud anodic music in their church. Yeah, let's go with the second one. You're right, they do. He says without the slightest hint of irony. The Periconassian church is about love. Anodic music is about love. I got love for my Periconassian posse. Love is the relay out of death! We dance! He violently shakes uh, the tape player as if to see if he can break it. Yeah. Love is hardcore! Yeah. Unity! Unity! Make some noise for my insulindian posse! Yeah. He turns the volume up, then looks at you with a knowing nod, as if it's obvious you will now break into dance. You feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the base, as if testing the waters. No words, enjoy the beat, nod your head. I don't quite understand what you're talking about, what's a posse. Uh, I guess love can be pretty hardcore, you're right. Etc. Let's go with the first one first. Feels good. Uh, I don't quite understand what you're talking about, what's a posse? Your posse's like your people, man. Like you got your cup posse. You look out for each other and you party together. That's a posse. Yeah. And where is your posse, detective? Nothing comes to you. The world is silent. It sounds like you're just saying random things. Love, posse, make noise. Are we? He looks at you mysteriously. Yeah! The one with the large head really enjoys it when his friend gets mysterious. Uh, I guess love can be pretty hardcore. I don't think we are um, gonna say that. Simply because of all of his underlying issues. I don't think he would think that right now. Uh, you're right. How could the founding party be anything but enthusiastic? Dance music is about love, and so is the Periconassian church. On second thought, no, this is too much. No sane organization would want this level of absurdity going on in their church. Let's go with the number five here. Yeah! Yako Qatar! The place to be! Yeah. He seems ecstatic that you share his vision of pericarnassianism. Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. Uh, his friend forms a fist with a screwdriver, uh, with a screwdriver still in his hand, approvingly so. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions? The one with the large head is still looking at you, nodding his head waiting for your body to start moving. Yeah! Let it out! Let the disco happen! Bring the disco into this world! Get this church shit on and then dance there, motherfucker! 
Well, if you say so, necktie. <laughs> Let's do that. If, if the neck look, if the necktie tells me to do something, you know, we do it. The necktie only has led me in the best directions. It's a great friend, and we're gonna listen to it. Uh, I wanted to ask you about this tent full of equipment. Yes. What? I see you brought your own water. Yeah, yeah. Good to have. Bitch to carry. When I first scouted the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even has running water. And it's distilled too? Uh, oh. He doesn't know what to say. It's the one they sell at the fuel station. I hate to tell you, but it reeks of sweat in here. It does, doesn't it? Told you we have a smell problem. He picks up a piece of telephone cord and inspects it. I also smell ether. Why? Ether? I don't smell ether. Do you, Noid? No. It's mixed with a peculiar chemical scent, like laundry detergent. He sniffs the air, then shrugs. A shrug is good enough for us. Why say it when you can shrug it? What's with all the nose of it? The what now? A point at the bottles of nasal spray in the corner. The nose of it ultra. You have a lot of it lying around. Oh, the old ultra. We, um, I have a major sinus infection. Stuffy nose. We all do. Shit's all blasted up. Winter. Can't even breathe. You sound fine to me. Yes, that's all Nosafed's doing. Without the Noser, I'd be drowning in shit right now. Nosafed is the shit. Uh, good. Now into the next thing. Uh, can I have some? I have some nose problems too. Let's go with the second one. Um, sure. He picks Here you up. Here go, officer. The oh. Noser. Blast away. He picks up. Uh, he picks one up from the corner and hands it to you. Uh, all right, enough of this. He nods enthusiastically, no Ooh. doubt a little relieved. Woo wee! Okay, logic, godly, sixteen. That's it for now. As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. Yeah. Uh, be careful in the officer and tell us how it goes. Yeah, uh, we'll be here. Right. So that was another one of those misaligned dialogues. Uh, that happens. I mean, given how much dialogue there is, it's fine. We can deal with that. Okay, logic. We have a plus two in logic from the fallen people. Do we have any more logic? Any more logic on us? Conceptualization, physical instrument. Well, it's a hat, so it's not gonna be better. Uh, savoir faire, visual calculus, conceptualization, suggestion, electrochem, interfacing, esprit de corps, logic. There we go. Uh, composure. Uh, none of that. That's minus logic. Drama. That's logic. Perception. That's logic. Okay, we can get a lot of logic out of this. Okay. So we are logic up. That means there's one thing that we have left to do. Uh, there's some cigarettes. Put those there. Uh, just to make sure it works, we're just gonna unequip it and equip it again. And now let's raise our intellect. Wonderful stuff. That's some damaged health. Let's, you know what, let's go back to full. Let's just go back to full. I don't think we can have a second cigarette immediately. I think that's locked now, right? Yeah, no, we can't do two cigarettes at the time.